people of the world. So I've been thinking about starting one of these YouTube channels in which you talk to the people on the other side of that lens. I mentioned it to a couple of people and they were like, oh, you'd be good at that. And I'm like, I'm not sure, but let's give it a go. My name is Milia and I'm the owner of Tidy Kingdom. I've been planning on new things and I've been updating the shop that I've got on Tidy Kingdom and I hope that you're following it. Hopefully if you're not, then you will after this. So I decided to make my first video and I thought that it would be a good idea to talk about my experience at Walt well, Disney World, Florida. It's been a while, but it is something that stays with you forever. So I thought, what a better way to just um, start this kind of like YouTube experience by talking about something that is so dear to me, which is the International College Program, which I was a part of um, a few years ago. So I thought about 10 truths about the college program experience. So let's start. First thing, living in Disney isn't like any other experience that you'll ever have in your life. You're literally living there, like literally. They've got so much property and, and everything is just so well connected that you're constantly in their world and it's just like nothing you've experienced before. The amount of people you meet, the amount of parties you go to, and I'm not even a party person. The whole experience that you get out is just, just, just magical. It's a cliche, but it's actually true. And I also find that it's something that you don't regret. It, it is so worth it. Just go. Number two, sharing a room with people you don't know and never met ever. That for me was one of the things that were a little bit more difficult. I knew I was gonna share a house with someone. I didn't know I was gonna share a room with someone I didn't know. And that was a little bit of a shock in the beginning because I thought I was gonna be able to pick at least my roommate and I was sure of who I was gonna pick. But then Disney swaps things around and um, they choose for you. They really want you to soak that experience, to get to know new people and, and to, to have to adapt to a complete new situation for you. I was in a house with another Portuguese I didn't know, two English girls and two Taiwanese girls. Then the Portuguese girl left. I then had a Chinese girl for two weeks that finished her program so she went back to China. And I ended up living with an American girl, which was lovely, but we didn't really get along room-wise and cleaning-wise, so that was interesting. She was lovely though, and, and that's one of the cool things is that you end up sharing your house with people that are completely different from you but at the end of the day if you really make things work it's possible and i had a lovely house with lovely roommates and it was an amazing experience number three so this one is connected to the last one in which people from all over the world get along and that's just a fact and it's like you, you know, there's always someone that you don't like, but it's not because they're from a different country. It's because they have a personality that doesn't match yours. And it's so good to just have friends from so many places. Like, I've got friends in Costa Rica, and I've got friends in Mexico, I've got friends in Brazil, and then I've got friends in France, and I've got friends here in England, and I've got friends back in Portugal, and then I've got friends from Taiwan, and, and it's such a cool experience that you meet people from all over the world and you make friends with people that you wouldn't think possible, and it's, it's just amazing. You just get to know different people from all over the world. It has so many different experiences from you and you get along and it's so good to 
just get along with so many different people and see that you've got so many things in common. Number four, despite you making so many friends from everywhere, you always end up having like that little security of having someone from your country that will speak your language in which you can express your feelings a little bit better and they know your reality. Especially at Christmas, because we spent Christmas there and it was my first Christmas away from home. So it was something really cool to, to, to have. It's just that really, that group of yours that you, you share the same cultural background and, and same lifestyle and then they become your friends for life because then you also when you move back to your country or, or to your state um, if we're talking about Americans the ones that live on your state are the ones that you'll probably get to see a little bit more often because you're probably a little bit closer to each other as well and, and reunions are easier so it's it's quite a cool cool thing to, to, to experience number five it's not all games and fun. You do work a lot. We're not talking just seven, eight hour day. We're talking 14, 16. You do want to pick up those extra shifts to get that extra money so that you can go to that Bahamas cruise. Everybody goes to that Bahamas cruise. I didn't. I didn't um, take enough shifts before then. I ended up not going. But I did buy a camera, so that lasted a little bit longer. But, you know, it's it's such a cool experience and you put in the hours, but then you have so much fun when you get back home. I would have like 12 hour shifts, come back home, put some makeup on, do something to my hair and go out. Six. You end up having that Disney smile forever. You know, that Disney smile and that happiness forever. It is one of those things that you train for so long that it's just there forever and ever and ever. Basically, you end up like enjoying what you do and, and you end up putting that smile because you know that that's important for the people that you're going to meet that day. Once you put that smile and, and you know you, you know how to make the separation between your personal life and, and work, then you make a little difference to those people's days and that smile, that Disney smile and that happiness that is happening all the time at every point of the day with anyone people interact do make things magical and that's what makes Disney so different. Number seven, you end up having a lot of discounts. So you end up owning a lot of Disney stuff. I mean, a lot. Like mugs and more mugs and more mugs <laughs> and more mugs yeah i know i've got a little bit of a problem but it's quite cool and then when you grow up you kind of want to keep doing disney things and owning disney things and most of the times you probably won't wear them in public although you know if they look like this People don't even notice. And like this. In which doesn't look Disney at all, unless you look closer. I, I don't hide it. Everybody knows that I'm a Disney fan and, and I just try to be adult about it. Yeah. I try. Number eight. Another thing is, you notice that Disney's everywhere. Once you work there, because you're so, because, because it's your brand, because it's where you work, when you get outside, you'll notice even more that Disney is everywhere. That's the thing about Disney. You go to H&M or you go to a grocery shop and then you go to a um, home department thing. There's always something Disney, a t-shirt, a cushion, a mug, everything bags pens notebooks everything it is 
absolutely crazy. I think that you get that notion, especially after working there and just like, you get out and it's everywhere. Everywhere. Number nine, customer service gets ruined forever. And I mean forever. It might be a little bit different in America, but you know, it is vastly different when you come back to Europe and people are different and, and the culture and, and what you learn in Disney is so different from what you learn elsewhere. They make sure that management knows what the problems are on the bottom of, of, of the chain, basically. Usually managers in most companies, they have never sold tickets at the cinema, so they don't know what issues those people face. And, and Disney's different in that sense, and that's, I think, why they master customer service so well. Um, but yeah, the thing is, like, in Disney, you're used to being treated well, to being treated like a guest, and elsewhere, you're just someone that comes and spends the money to have some food, which is a total different approach. So you're constantly evaluating the customer service and, and seeing how it's actually not done that well. So yeah, get used to it. Once you work for Disney, customer service is ruined. Number 10. The thing is, once you do the college program, you get to build such good memories out of there that whenever you talk about it, your face just lights up. And it's like, I can talk about Disney and, and, and about my experience there all day long. For me, it was a six months experience and those six months are just the right amount of time for you to want to just stay there forever, but then you kind of know that it wouldn't be a good thing if you did. So it just, just keeps those amazing memories and that amazing experience as like a really good, good thing that happened to you. And if you're thinking about going or applying or go, it is, it is, it is such an amazing experience. And if you can't do that, try doing something else. Try live for six months abroad. Try an internship um, in, in another country. Do an Erasmus program if you live in, in Europe. Or do a volunteering. Because those experiences just give you such good memories and it just makes you grow as a person so much more than always doing the same thing in your life. Because you just get such good value out of trying to live in another country and trying to adapt to new rules and, and trying to understand how other people live and, and what their perspective is of things. It is, it is just an amazing experience. And then it's Disney, which kind of feel like you're living in a fairy tale for six months. There's no other place like it on earth. It just feels like you're in this protected bubble and it feels good because you just feel like you can live in this fairy tale little kingdom and then you know at least you've experienced that once in your life i hope that if you get the chance that it is as it was for me one of the best times of your life and i hope that if you've never had the chance you can understand a little bit of why we love it so much and why we talk about it so much well i hope that if you like this video that you'll put a big like on it it is my first one and so I'm still kind of learning to, to, to make things work. I hope that you subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be putting new stuff in and it won't be about Disney. Not all my life is about Disney. It isn't. Really. It isn't. But yes, I hope that you enjoy the next videos that I'm going to make for you. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day. Bye. It was handmade. Oh, I've got